new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you it's a shame i have to do it like this but youtube make sure you pay attention and actually listen to the video this time before uh <laughs> taking down videos and this is taken from the new york post governor andrew cuomo says he won't get the covid 19 vaccination until everyone his age can governor andrew cuomo said sunday that he will get the covid 19 vaccination when it is available for all races and income groups quote covid exposes many existing injustices in our society covid showed that racism is a public health crisis also it killed black people in this country at two times the rate as white with testing also more available in richer wider communities this can't happen again and it won't happen with this vaccine bragging that he is not a typical politician and stating that he is committed to social and racial justices in the distribution of the vaccine quote and that's why i say to you today i want to take the vaccine but i will not take the vaccine until vaccines are available for my age group and the groups of black people hispanic people and poor communities around the state until the vaccine is available in south bronx east side of buffalo and wyandanch in south jamaica and egerton in east utica our health care deserts our job is not done he also insisted he will wait for his own inoculation because quote it's more important that our essential workers be given these first vaccines cuomo's comments follow news that new york has distributed about a third of the vaccine doses it has received amid the slow rollout of the shots across the country addressing the cynicism and the skepticism towards the vaccine which he himself expressed and he also stated knowledgeable and trained people who i trust and respect in the field all agree that we should take the vaccine calling for communities calling for a community obligation to get it he said that his mother who is almost 90 and his three daughters quote who i love more than life itself will all get it once eligible despite the slow pace of the distribution the governor suggested that the main fears of covid fatigue preventing the enormous numbers needed to get the shot for herd immunity quote think of it 90 percent of new yorkers don't agree to do anything let alone take the vaccine but we can't get fatigue from covid until covid is fatigued if we tire before the enemy the enemy wins it's that simple i'll do my part but you also have to do your part we are new york tough let's make it smart loving caring safer fair and sweeter than any year thus far later the governor's office also hit back at those attacking the apparent lag that has far left many of the state's 630,000 shots unused quote New York has administered over 274,000 doses in just three weeks, representing 1,408 vaccinations per 100,000 residents. Indisputably, more than any other large state in the United States. So in front of you, you'll just see some old quotes that uh, I listed from a different story that I did earlier this year, uh, dealing with Cuomo saying that he was going to lead the way and make sure that, you know, all of the... Uh, you know melanated right communities in new york are the first ones to receive the vaccination before everybody else right so like i said before this is how i go about it if at any point in time that they really want to push this forward then they need to roll up directly to a lot of these quote unquote i have to use the terminology urban medical centers and they have to take the shot that everybody else is taking when people see that you're taking it from roughly the exact same vial and it's not no type of switcheroo, no type of sleight of hand, right? Nothing like that. Then maybe people might believe you a little bit more. People are still going to be skeptical, but at least you went out on an extra limb to prove to them that, yo, 
this is this is safe i believe in it so i'm going to have my whole family including myself take the exact same thing that you see everybody else in the community taking matter of fact i'm going to go to the very same communities and i'm going to be there and i'm going to take the from i'm going to take the shot from the exact same vial that they take it from right so like i said before that's how a lot of these government officials can do it right who, who wants to sponsor this who wants to you know push a lot of this out towards black people this is what a lot of these uh businessmen and women ceos can sit up there and do to breed more faith into this like i said before if it's good enough for black people it should be good enough for everybody else all of the rich people all of the ceos all of those you know millionaires all of those billionaires that are out there like I said, if it's good enough for us, then that means they can sit up there and take it too. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a one size fits all vaccine anyway. So it's not like anything's going to go wrong, right? So like I said before, all of this nonsensical talk where I always hear a lot of these officials and, and different things of that nature saying that they're going to hold off. That's a little bit problematic for me because let's say if I'm a king, right? and i'm ruling over this land if i'm going to hand some food over to my people i should at least want to get a taste tester or i should at least be taking part in the feast with my people right i should at least have some type of parameters to make sure what i'm giving my people is safe enough for them to actually have because they're trusting me and they're handing over their good faith their blind faith to me in hopes that i would make the right decisions for them so like i said if a lot of these government officials and, and, and all these other entities really cared about you they would be the first ones in line with you at a lot of these facilities to prove to you that what they're saying about this vaccination is 100 percent and that everybody needs to get it and that it's okay to get and that nothing is going to happen in different things of that sort that's all i'm saying if you 100 percent are pushing this government officials people in government billionaires and mil millionaires and billionaires ceos if y'all pushing this y'all need to go to a lot of these communities that y'all talk about specifically the black communities right that y'all always want to you know tote and talk about and different things of that nature knowing the, the history that black people have with the government here <laughs> you really want to try to push this on us but uh since you want to keep toting that whole thing as a fact then you need to be there with a lot of those black people that you're telling to go out there step out of side of your house step outside of your comfort zone step outside of your your skepticism right step out of the conspiracy theories right and go out on a limb and take this with me that's what you need to do that's exactly what you need to do but you won't do it you won't and you wonder why people in the black community are still skeptical right about this this is why because you're not giving people any type of reassurance or proof that you 100% believe in this. That's all people really looking for is a little bit of faith. That's it. But anyways, that's enough of me talking. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that I stated in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.